Earlier this week, I read an article over on Kotaku.com from its editor-in-chief, Stephen Totillo, which was all about the PSVR. Now, this was a highly unusual thing because Kotaku articles usually consist of flat game news and, you know, gushing over Nintendo franchises. And, you know, one of my biggest problems with the mainstream games media in general today is how happy it is to ignore VR gaming. But in hindsight, that's not true, I don't think. They are actually very eager to point out the negatives of VR gaming and they only ignore the good stuff, it seems. So I was only half right about that. So go on to Kotaku.com right now and use the site's search function to search for Firewall Zero Hour, for example, and you'll get no hits, aside from one article that lists out what games are releasing that week, and that doesn't really count because there's no discussion about it, you know? So anyway, let's go back to Mr. Totillo's article about the PSVR. Now, it's all about why the PSVR is his sixth choice of platform to play on behind the beloved Switch, behind PS4, Xbox, 3DS, and even mobile games, which is truly the greatest insult of all. Now, to be fair to Totillo, after the headline, after the opening paragraph, where we are led to assume he sees the PS viewer as utter trash, and where a lot of people might have stopped reading, he does go on to say that when he does play the PS viewer, he has, you know, some fun with his. When he tries it once or twice a year, that is. So then, if he has a bit of fun with this, why is it ranked behind mobile gaming, in his opinion? Now, essentially, his main argument here is that the PSVR is too cumbersome to set up, to uncurl the cables, you know, plug in the breakout box, charge the controllers, even though you need to charge controllers for any console you play on these days, and to attach it to your face. It's all too much. And you know what? He is right. All of that is very annoying and would be a decent reason to not bother with the PSVR. But the thing is, nobody does this. In his article, Totillo points out that he played Astro Boss and that he enjoyed it, but never played it again. Why? Because he had his PSVR at his Kotaku office, and playing more would mean bringing it home and setting it all up there. And this is what annoyed me about this article. This situation is fairly unique to him. Now my PSVR headset is constantly connected to my PS4. When I want to turn on my PSVR, I just need to pick up my headset, give the lens a wipe, and put it on my head like a pair of glasses. Now I imagine a lot of PSVR owners would have a similar setup to me in that regard, or at least not a similar setup to Tutillo, who needs to bring it to work with him. His experience with PSVR is not likely going to be the same as mine and yours, and he must know that, so it feels a bit like a hit piece against the PSVR when I take that into account. I mean, if I had to reconnect my PS4 or Xbox or whatever, anytime I wanted to use it, it would be a pain in the ass to do it, right? And in fact, he says as much himself about his PC being his seventh choice of platform because he has that put away somewhere. So why single out the PSVR? It seems so pointless. Everything would be annoying if you had to put it away every single time you wanted to use this and then reconnect it all up again. Now you might say, look, this is his experience with PSVR. It's his website, he can say whatever he wants about us, that's his opinion, and at the end of the day, that's correct, I won't argue with you there. But when his website says absolutely nothing about amazing PSVR titles like Firewall Zero Hour or The Persistence, but is all too happy to tell you that they prefer, or he prefers, even mobile gaming to PSVR, that's when you gotta look at the bigger picture there and see that, you know, Kotaku has a huge readership. Giving games like Firewall more coverage is surely better for the industry than complaining about your specific annoyances with setting up the PS Viewer units, right? I think so, anyway. Of course, I'm not saying PS Viewer is perfect, it has issues, but for what it does and for what it's attempting to do for right now, I think it deserves a little bit better from the media. Anyway, that's it for this video, lads and ladies. Just a bit of a rant kind of a thing. You know how salty I get about the PSVR and VR in general not getting its fair dues and being overlooked by people as a result. Or even worse, 
been labelled as a fad like 3D TV by the uneducated and ignorant Neanderthals out there. So let me know how you feel about me doing vids like these or not. And if you like the vid, then please consider doing all that usual moist shite. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.